My name is Joan Whitson. And I'm Erica Bosserman. And welcome to Hands On Botanicals. Botanicals. Who doesn't love water play? Whether it's outdoors or indoors, the water-based sensory activity where children create a soup with Ooh. all kinds of botanicals will immerse your participants in the colors, smells, and textures of a warm, refreshing summer day. Oh. Remember, sensory play encourages open-ended thinking, language development, collaboration, and builds fine motor skills. Sensory materials are magically both engaging and calming. So here are the ingredients for our recipe of fun. Mm -hmm. And please make sure that the materials from nature that you choose are not toxic. That's a good point. Yes, if accidentally ingested. So you will need a water or sensory table. If you do not have one, individual plastic tubs mm -hmm. like this will work. You can even use a small plastic kiddie pool. So first thing you will need is water mm -hmm. with a little dab of non-toxic temper paint. You don't need a lot of paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whisk this in and whisk really hard until it becomes a translucent color. And I might need more to bring it up to this saturation level, but you get the idea. It would be a great activity for the kids to, yes, to be able to put this in and whisk it around too. And not have it as yellow as mine. Yeah, so then just add a little more. Add a more, and then we're going to whisk. And they can, can I do it? Yes, I want to do it. I know, I okay. don't want to like, hog all the fun. I'm I sorry. Want to okay. I'm sorry. So okay. now we swish that all around. Okay. okay. So now we're going to start taking our wonderful summer fruits. <laughs> we have lemons and limes and oranges. And so let's start adding mm. some of these. Oh, oh my gosh, mm. so good. So flip that one. We're making and our soup. Mm. I love oh, it. This one, a little more lemon. I didn't put an orange mm. in mine. Oh, that isn't lemon it, is so tart. See, isn't it I love beautiful. lemonade. And this Ooh. orange. Oh, and another little lime. I'm to put one more big. Put, yeah, you there. know what? I okay. even like, have, oh yeah. And here's another lime for mine. And now we're going to take a few rose petals okay and just snip some off here or you can just for a little color just okay. a little contrast we don't need a lot of color just a little but bit what does that make it doesn't that kind of make pretty. everything pop mm -hmm. okay so then we're going to add some outrageous herbaceousness Ooh. i didn't say that right yes i did i love All the right. word herbaceous uh, uh, yes herbaceous so what do, what do I you have? have i don't know what do you have i've got um oregano okay oh here we'll we go again there. with my favorite mint oh smell. i love it and so i've got the children can parsley smell these oh yes oh and rosemary I rosemary love it. i love go. rosemary and i'm gonna put a little chop of fern in here just to mm -hmm. give it another little texture cut up oh and chives joan has wonderful chives <laughs> in her garden guess what snip 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 i love snip. it just like you put on your baked yeah, potato absolutely absolutely this Look is a great this. activity for uh, for Kids and to work on their cutting. Yeah, motor, that's right. Fine, fine motor. motor. And what else can we put in here? Did you have basil over there, Joan? Um, oh, you have cilantro. No, but I have parsley. Did oh, you get parsley. parsley? No, I didn't do parsley. Okay. Oh, thank you. And what about so we have some cilantro? Yeah. Oh, wait, here's basil. Oh, we can't forget basil in our soup. Here, Joan, would you like some basil? I would love some okay, basil. Let me put some in I want to cut it in there. Snip it in. Snip it in. Oh, this soup is looking Doesn't fantastic. This look beautiful? And so just, let me just tip this just a little bit so you can see the colors and everything. And then we can add in utensils. Oh, I love it. Here and we let's go. not forget to stress that this soup is not for drinking or tasting. Here you go. Oh, look what we have here. Measuring cups of soup. Ladle, ladle, ladle. All right. This and is I cool even one. have it here, John. Take one of these little mm -hmm. cups. And, oops, can you grab me that other cup over there? Oh, yes. Oh, Joan, you have tongs. Okay. And this thing is like for Asian mm -hmm. cooking. It's kind of like mm -hmm. a cool spatula. Ooh, we can so just... I'm going to fish these out. I know. you can. And I'm going to put them in here. And then I'm going to take this one. And I'm going to fill. Oh, let me just dip in here. Oh, Look I'm going to make I'm gonna make one from, from my friend Rhonda. Oh, You yes. can make these for your friends. You yes. can serve and make one for and your look, teacher, for your mom. And watch away. Mm. And then you can also take this sieve. Oh, do you have a ladle? Yes, oh. yes. Oh, hold on. Uh -huh. Let me take this. Oh, Joan, can I oh. give you a serving of my wonderful I summery, would love some, please. Sensory soup. Please. Woo! 
All right. Mm. Do you want to float a little lemon in there? Oh, please, a lemon. A I love lemon. some lemon. Oh, I'm getting a little messy. Because it's like we're okay, having a summer tea party. Yeah, we are. And then here we go. And look at this. I just <gasps> want to sieve everything out and see what's left. Look what I have oh. left in and my sieve. Isn't that no, cool? That's really cool. And you yeah. can look and examine everything that you yep, have in absolutely. there. Absolutely. So we have stirred, sieved, <laughs> and poured to our heart's content with our wonderful summer sensory soup. And until next time, enjoy and find your zen. Um, mm. And don't forget to subscribe to the ELC of North Florida YouTube channel for more fun and educational videos like this. Have a good day. Mm. Mm.